Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you're doing really well. Today's video is just going to be a quick recent favourites. I've got some books, makeup, hair care, skincare, quite a lot of stuff, so I'm just going to get straight into it. Uh, I've got all of my recent favourite things here, and yeah, let's just get into it. So I'm going to start with skincare. I've got one new product to show you. So this is the Beauty Pie Overnight Skin Perfector. This is a retinol infused product, so I've only been using this probably like twice a week. With retinol, it's definitely worth doing your research a little bit. There's certain things that you definitely shouldn't do with retinol. Like you really only use it in the evening, which is why this is like an overnight mask. Um, so I just apply this before I go to sleep and then wipe it off in the morning. And my skin recently has been probably the best it's ever been. Um, I've really like stripped back the products that I'm using and just using this like twice a week actually really helped my skin. My skin's been like the best that it's been in a long time. So yeah, really like this. They have like three other retinol products as well. Moisturizer, which I have used, but I feel like this is the one that when I use it, I notice like an immediate difference. Moving on to hair care, I've got a new range of products that I've been really liking. This is the Kerastase Chroma Absolute range. Um, I've used Kerastase products quite a lot before and I always love them, um, especially their hair masks. I use the curl version of this for quite a long time. I don't actually wash my hair that much. My hair doesn't get that greasy. I've got sort of like a drier, frizzier hair type, so I don't really need to. Um, but obviously where my hair is bleached, it's a little bit damaged, so it's really nice to just use products that kind of give it a nice lift. Um, and yeah, I've been using these for probably like two, three weeks now. My hair literally feels amazing. What I love about the Kerastase shampoos in particular is they're really hydrating. Um, I went through a stage of actually not shampooing my hair and I was just kind of like conditioner washing it, which is a whole different thing. But my hair is naturally on the slightly drier side. It doesn't need to be shampooed a lot. I feel like it just makes my hair feel like shit. So it's really nice to have something that is shampoo-y enough to make my hair feel really clean, but it doesn't feel dried out, if that makes sense. These are really good, really hydrating for damaged or coloured hair, and the conditioner is obviously amazing as well. And this is the hair mask from the range. This is so beautiful. It just, all their products smell so amazing as well. Oh, it feels like you're in like a really fancy hair salon. I probably use this every other time I wash my hair. I only really wash my hair like once a week. So yeah, I normally use this like once every other week. Um, so I also worked with Kerastase on a reel, which I think will be up on my Instagram by now. So if you do want to see me use them in action, that will be over there. So like an updated hair care tutorial sort of thing. And um, so I'll leave a link to that in the description box as well. I'm working on like getting my hair stronger and healthier again. I've been trying to not use heat on it as much as possible. And I feel like these products are making my hair feel really strong and really healthy again. So yeah, love those. So next up, I've got a brand new fragrance to talk about. This is the brand new version of YSL's Black Opium. Um, so Black Opium is obviously like the perfume of YSL. I feel like everybody knows it. Everybody kind of is familiar with that perfume. Like this is a slightly more like masculine version of Black Opium, but it's still sweet. Um, which I really like. I'm not really a big fan of like really floral, really, really kind of like girly smells. I like a more like masculine um, scent and I feel like this definitely is. So I feel like this is perfect. Um, it's also got coffee in it. So it has like a really, I don't know, it's just like a really rich smell, but it's still quite floral. Books to talk about um, and then we'll finish off with makeup because there's quite a lot of makeup bits. People are always asking me to do like an updated book video. I will be doing one at some point. I got like a whole load of new books over Christmas as well. So got quite a lot that I really want to read at the moment that I feel like I'm going to enjoy so I want them to be included in the video if that makes sense so it will be coming at some point but I thought I'd just talk about these two quickly just so you've got a little something um first one is If I Had Your Face by Francis Cha a lot of people that I follow had read this had seen it a lot on like Goodreads so this book is set in South Korea in Seoul it follows four different women it's all about their relationships with each other and themselves about kind of the beauty standards in South Korea and what's kind of expected as a young woman like very empowering in some points kind of heartbreaking in others but I think especially like as a woman I feel like you resonate with like a lot of it and it's really interesting to see kind of like the cultural expectations of women everywhere like really interesting to read about kind of the cultural experiences of women across the world um, and I feel like this is like a really good insight into that but it's still light-hearted enough and it still kind of follows their friendships um, and yeah I think it's a really nice book and it's kind of like fairly short so actually quite a nice one if you want to read something that's not too meaty uh, also obsessed with the cover like passion flowers are my favorite thing in the world so yeah I think that it gripped me uh, next book is Sunset by Jessie Cave and um, my auntie bought me this for Christmas my auntie is like the best thing ever so any books that she buys me I just always love birthday she bought me the keeper of lost things and that just became my favorite book ever so I always really like trust her recommendations so so she got me this one for Christmas and yeah she told me that the girl who wrote this is from Harry Potter apparently but I haven't really seen Harry Potter so I feel like it was wasted on me but the first book that's made me cry in a long time um 
it's it's very like raw i feel like it's the only word to like describe it um it's about two sisters obviously my sister is like my best friend ever so the whole time i was reading it, i was just thinking about her and i was just like Ugh. Ooh. it's about a relationship between two sisters something happens to one of them it's about the sister who's kind of like left behind and what she feels like she's lost out of herself um and i think that's very true like of sisters i think a lot of your identity is made up by i guess your siblings in general but i always feel like there's something about having a bond of like two sisters that's really really strong i would be prepared like if you do read this it's not like the the cheeriest read but it is really good. And then yeah, at the end there's a little bit about how it kind of relates back to her life and why she wrote the book. And then I was really crying, so. Really beautiful, again, this is just amazing. She is coming out with a paperback version soon, I saw on her Instagram, because I know a lot of people don't like hardback books. I really like having them. I feel like it kind of looks nice. Um, but they are annoying to carry around, so I do understand. I sympathize. And yeah, that's it for books. Like I say, I will do like a full updated thing when I've got through everything. Now, moving on to makeup, I've got quite a lot of bits to talk about. There's been loads of like new launches recently and I've just kind of loved all of them. So the first thing that has to be included in this for me is the Influencer Overnight collection with Revolution. I'm just obsessed with this. I've been using this literally every day. Sorry if you can hear like the most annoying noise ever, but my heating keeps making this really loud vibrating noise and it sounds like a plane, so it's really winding me up. I was saying this palette, the ring light ready one, has kind of become one of those that I just reach for every day. Um, I did my eyes with it again today, obviously filmed with this in my last video and it's just so beautiful. The tin of liners, in the black liner pretty much every day, even just in like my waterline and they just don't budge. Every time like pencil liners in your waterline will kind of fade after a while but these literally don't move, like they're amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to film a video with like the more colourful ones. I've been kind of playing around with them and I really love them. So yeah, definitely want to do something creative with those. So next up is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I feel like this is no surprise to anyone that I love this. Um, again, use this in my last video. Absolutely love it. I haven't used anything else since. I've got it on again today. Um, it's just beautiful. And then I've kind of seen, I think it's kind of going like viralish on TikTok at the moment, which I think it very much deserves. Um, so I've got the shade 3 Neutral, it is just, like, I would say probably my favourite foundation ever. Yep, it's a bold statement, but I'm willing to go there. Obviously, when I'm working, I'm wearing, like, a mask all day, I'm running around, I'm under, like, lights all day, and I feel like sometimes my makeup ends up looking a bit, like, crusty, is really the only word. So I've been using this, my skin just looks the exact same all day, like, this lasts so nicely, which I think also, for, like, a dewy foundation, is kind of rare. Um, but yeah, it sets down beautifully, lasts all day, absolutely love this, so well done Charlotte, very proud of you. Next up, very exciting, new bits from V. So, doorbell rings last night, it's about half nine, there's a man standing there with flowers, and I thought, oh my god, I'm having my love actually moment, this is it, it's happening. It was a delivery from Vive, which actually was way better than the love actually moment happening, so. Vive have got five new lip liner colours and five new lipsticks. Um, I'm going to show you my favourite ones because I've got them on today. These are the two that I'm wearing today. So the lip liner is Aphrodite. Little brownie, kind of peachy nude. The formula of the Vive lip products. I mean, all the Vive products are just insane. But the lip products are amazing. Like, like how soft these lip liners are. But then once they're on, like, they literally don't move. Like, they're perfect. Lipstick, obviously give you like a matte finish without feeling dry or like flaky. Um, so this is the shade that I've got on today. This is Pinch. So it's just this beautiful, really peachy, but kind of like a deep peachy shade. And today I am obsessed with like a peachy nude at the moment. I've changed. I'm different. I'm just obsessed, especially with like a black smoky eye. I think it looks really nice. Um, very nice like for spring, summer as well. So yeah, they are beautiful. So thank you to my Vive Angels and Jamie for sending me those because they are Gorgeous. Got a couple more things to show you and then we're done, I promise. This is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Again, spoke about this in my last video. I'm in love with this. Like, I'm literally in love. Um, it Cosmetics sent me some bits a while ago and I was kind of looking for a new mascara. Didn't have anything I was like really obsessed with at the time. I thought, oh, I'll give this a try. I'm in love with this. I think I'm going to rebuy this forever. It's just kind of thin. It's not like a super chunky one, which is what I normally prefer. Um, but I really love this. Like, it's super, super black. Haven't worn lashes once since I've had this mascara. Perfect mascara. Um, I normally layer, like, th two or three mascaras to get, like, the best out of all of them. But I feel like this kind of just does everything and I haven't used anything else. So, yeah. 
very good. And last product that I'm going to talk about is the Iconic Silk Glow Duo. This is the shade Rose Glow. Um, I've got this on today, so it's just this beautiful, really shimmery blush. Um, I've got a bit of the highlight as well, just over the high points. Really beautiful, really sheer blush, but it just has this really nice kind of almost like peachy, corally sort of shade with a really nice shimmer to it. So it just makes your skin look really healthy. You can see it just makes your skin look really healthy, super glowy, very kind of like spring summer skin vibe, which I love. It's everything that I wanted to talk about. Um, I feel like there was quite a lot, so I hope I've got through it all. Okay. I'll leave links to everything that I've mentioned today in the description box. Thank you so much for watching this and thank you for being here. I hope you have a lovely rest of the day and I'll see you all very soon. Love you.